Hello, my sunshines. Welcome back and thanks for popping in. Before we dive into today's video, I just wanted to do a Sunshine Squad check-in. So I know I alluded to the fact in the last video that I was really struggling with diving headfirst into 2023. And I saw another YouTuber that I watched kind of saying the same thing today. And I was wondering, like, is it just us or are you guys feeling it too? Are you struggling to get on the 2023 bus and like drive into it full force? Or are you there? Or like you're thriving in the routine and you're so happy to be through the holidays, let me know down below. I'm genuinely curious. So for today's video, we are going to talk about Ipsy Glam Bag and Glam Bag Plus for January 2023. As usual, I've tried everything on my face and I'm going to tell you the good, the bad, and the ugly. I know there's a lot of people that review Ipsy. I am 51, so I give a little bit more mature uh, spin on the reviews of the product. So if you're a little older, hey girl, hey, or if you're younger I'm really glad you're here too overall I'm going to give you a spoiler alert and say that I think Ipsy did a really beautiful job with the January bags and so let's go ahead and talk about them the glam bag is $13 a month I almost said 12 but they did raise it this year $13 a month you get five sample to travel size products typically I get one full size products in my bag now these bags that I'm showing you today Ipsy sent me for review so I'm able to share them with you but I actually do pay for this bag separately um, it comes later in the month and typically when that one comes I have a full size product in that too you get to customize one of the items in the bag again you get those five items and you get a really fun little bag this month I think the unexpected like neon green with the lavender and the raspberry is such a pretty little combination I mean the furry is adorable I kind of feel like it skews a little bit young but sometimes ipsy I think knocks it out of the park based on what I would like and sometimes they don't I think this would be skewing more toward my daughter so she'll probably get that one now if you're looking for something just a little bit more meaty you can get the glam bag plus this is $28 a month it gives you five full-size products three of which you're able to customize, which I think is a really great deal. Again, you always get a cute little drawstring bag. And this one, they still added that touch of neon, which I think is really adorable. If you just need a little gift or you're giving somebody a gift card or you, you just wanna uh, send a teacher appreciation gift or something, drop it down in one of these bags. I use them all the time. And I just think they're so cute. All right, let's go ahead and start with the glam bag first. And I will tell you what's inside. The first thing that I got is a company I don't know that I've heard of. It's by Shan Shania B. And this is out of Miami. Their little logo. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it, but it's so cute. It's two flamingos and their little heads make a heart. Really, really cute from a Miami company. This is a lip gloss and it's in the color Besitos. And I love it. There's not a lot of lip glosses I don't like. I'm a lip gloss girl, not a lip liner girl. This one doesn't really have much of a scent, which is okay. I think the wand is good. It does give you just a hint, just a hint of color. It's kind of that your lips or better color. It's not gloopy or gloppy or sticky. In my opinion, this would be like the perfect throw it in your purse, use every day. Um, lip gloss because it's not going to add a lot of color to your lips on top of a lipstick. So I really liked that product. Happy with that. The next thing we got was a little um, brush, which I have to say the past couple of months, the brushes that they've been sending us have been less than stellar. Let's just leave it like that. You can go back and look at my reviews, but this one this one I'm happy about. Now, in the past, maybe we've received a set of brushes, um, and that looks really great when you open it up. But if the brushes don't perform, it's like, why did you bother to send it? I'd rather have one good quality brush than five really crappy brushes. And this one's great. It's by a company called Half Caked, and this is their, like, shader brush. I did use it. It's nice and firm. So you can kind of pack on the eyeshadow. It's just a light pink, really, really pretty. So happy with this. We'll use it every single day. So they're two for two so far. The third thing we got is a little tiny eyeshadow quad by Orza. This is called the Nebula Shimmer Eyeshadow. Now what I will say about this one is there's three shimmers and one matte. I kind of wish it was like maybe two shimmers and two mattes. It's hard to do a whole eye look for me with three shimmers. 
my personal opinion and I'm a shimmer girl I like a shimmer um but I wish that they would added one more matte I think it's beautiful though it's kind of this rosy rose gold this is a really pretty kind of neutral color there was actually some color payoff on this I thought this lighter color I kind of did it all over my lids was absolutely beautiful and then I finished it on top kind of on the inside I'll show you and I used these three this one for the look I didn't use although I will show you the color's pretty. It's a little bit more subtle, but it does have a little shine to it. You see, it's kind of a more copper color. So I did use an extra shadow with this look, but this is what I did. And I took a palette that I've had in my, where did I put it? It's under my notepad here. And I added one color to this look, just so you know, I added this color. I got this palette at TJ Maxx like a year and a half ago. I liked their original peach palette. Um, I haven't used this one as much as I used the other one, but for this look, that little quad looked really great with this. And so that's kind of the darker shade that you see, and it's a matte. So that's the look that I did. I thought it was really, really pretty. And you know, it is fun to have little guys that you can mix and match with other eyeshadows. I thought that was really fun. And it's a color palette that I will use. I have green eyes and those kind of pinky purple colors just make my eyes pop. So happy for that. Alrighty. And then I got, okay. This is a brand that I got either last month or November. I want to say it was November. And the brand is, I think it's called Reina Reblade. The the font is really, really hard to read. We got a palette in this and it took me a while to figure out the company. I did not give a favorable review to that palette. It felt very like bargain basement. They went into the cosmetics company, picked the like lowest quality, like actual palette holder. I thought the shadows didn't perform. They didn't have a lot of pigment. So when I saw this was in the bag, I was kind of hesitant, but I have to say, not bad. Is there anything special about it? No, it is a um, just an eye pencil that's more of a crayon. I use this down um, in my waterline just a little bit. I didn't think it performed really great at the top of my lash line, um, but there's nothing wrong with it. I would totally reach for this. I would totally use it. Um, so in comparison to that eyeshadow palette we got a couple of a couple of months ago, I think this one was a standout. Again, I think the packaging is a little bit cheap, um, kind of a bargain basement type of product, but it performed. And that's all I can expect in a $13 bag. I think the palette we got in the $28 bag. All right, the last thing that I got in here, oh, I was so happy for this. This is by Dew of the Gods, which I have to say, we're seeing a ton of that in a lot of makeup subscriptions. And I can't figure out if I like it or if I feel like it's gimmicky. Tell me your thoughts on Dew of the Gods. This is the Feels Mini Squalene and Oat Milk um, Dry Erase Facial Scrub. Facial Scrub is one of the items. Well, hi, Milo. How you doing, buddy? Oh, and I think Lola just came in too. We might see her come up. Might be a two kitty day. Anyway, facial scrubs, there she is are two of the, or one of the items that I use the absolute most. It's always something that I'm running out of. And so I love getting them in subscription boxes. And I thought this was lovely. It has some oat milk in it. So it's kind of creamy. It's a little bit thick. Um, it looks like that. The scrubbies in it are really nice. They're not too like chunky, but you can feel them. They're not going to like scratch your face. I thought the formula was easy to use. Like it's not running down your face. It was just a nice, a nice scrub. So I was happy to have that very usable. And that was what was in my little Ipsy Glam bag. I think they couldn't have gone wrong. We got a lip gloss. We got that eye liner. We got the scrub. We got, what else do we got? The brush. Um, I feel like there was one other thing. Oh, and the little eyeshadow quad. Got a little bad bag for $13. All right, let's talk about the Glam Bag Plus. Got these cute little, I want to call them daisies, but I don't think those are. Plumeria? I don't know. Tell me what you think they are. All right. The first thing I got, now this is the only thing out of the two bags that I did not try. I really am on the fence whether I want to or not. This is by Hey Honey, which is a brand that's just beautiful. It's called their Sweet Treat Wild Berry and Honey Yogurt Recovery Mask. Now, the reason why I did not open this and use it is I have so many tubes of mask. 
I get a lot of subscription boxes. Obviously, I review about 40 a month and I can't use all of them. And so once I've opened them and used them, I feel funny about giving them away. Um, and also my daughter gets some that I open and she can't use them all. And so because I have so many, I think I'm going to give this away. But doesn't that sound beautiful? The Wild Honey and Yogurt Recovery Mask. So I'll open it and kind of show you what it looks like inside. It's a nice size. Now, one of the dings I will give this is you put it on your face, you leave it on for 15 minutes, and then it's one of those that you wipe off. I don't really love the masks that you wipe off. I want to put it on and leave it on and be done and not have to think about it anymore. It says it restores the appearance of dull skin impacted by environmental factors. So I am probably going to give this guy away because I have so many. But secretly inside, I really want to try it. <laughs> Okay, the next thing we got in here is by Fleur and B. If you've been around my channel for a while, I have talked about Fleur and B for a long time. They're a really small kind of indie company. Right now, I'm loving their One Lip Wonder Lip Balm. It is really good. I've had this Nectar of the Sea Vitamin C Serum. It's a brightening serum with 10% vitamin C. It's lovely. I will say this serum... I feel like for me, doesn't um, soak into my skin as quickly. I'm a very impatient person. Um, I don't put my skincare on until right before I do my makeup. So I need everything to like dry at night. It is fine. So that's when I'll probably use it. But I'm probably going to use something else in the mornings just because it took a little bit of time to soak in. And I was trying to hurry to get my makeup done. But it's lovely. It's a little bit cloudy. In case you're wondering about what it looks like, I'll show you doesn't really have a scent looks like that it's got almost like a an oil texture but it's not a dry oil if that makes sense so again I just feel like this is a great night serum I've had it I've used it I've loved it the next thing we got is by NARS this is their velvet matte lip pencil in the color Dolce Vita and I love this I love it uh, I feel like we get certain colors consistently over and over again in NARS. And this Dolce Vita, I'm not sure that I've ever had. It's a little chunky crayon. Looks like this. If I'm being completely honest, everything has spilled out of my bag. So this full-size lip gloss might have been in the $28 bag because this looks more sample size to me. I'm not 100% sure, but I put it in the big bag. So it's a really pretty color. It's a little chunky pencil. And this is the color, it's on my lips right now. Just a really pretty rosy, and I kind of went in a couple of times. I have lip gloss on, I'll add a little bit. It's kind of the best of both worlds if you're not a pencil girl, cause you can still kind of outline your lips and then fill it in, it's a little bit easier. It's not as drying as a lip pencil. And although it's matte, I put a lip gloss on top of it and it's super, super comfortable. It didn't feel like it dried down and like, dried out my lips this is like the stellar product out of both bags it was one of my favorite things so happy for that all right the next thing we got is this rise mascara now i just got a sample of this in another bag and i was like oh it looks really really dry and i wasn't sure what to think about it so i went ahead and tried this one on i hadn't played with the other one yet it's got this like grippy i don't know if you can kind of see it texture on it which is nice if you're doing skincare and your hands are a little bit greasy from serum or something you're not going to spill it but this one is not dry at all matter of fact it's pretty darn moist I like the um curve of the wand really easy to use I did a couple of layers I didn't find it was flaky I will say though I had to be really careful and kind of like fan my eyes just a little bit um because I did have a little bit of transfer I don't mind that though because I like a more wet style mascara so happy with that and then last but not least we have the Tarte drink of H2O and anytime you're going to give me a Tarte product I'm going to do the happy dance this is more of like a water-based cream which those are my favorite too comes in a big old jar like this this I think is around $47. Actually, I wrote down the prices in case you wanna know. This was $38. The NARS lip pencil was 28. The Fleurin B serum was 46. The Milk mascara was 28. 
and the Hey Honey mask was $27. So the total price of my Glam Bag Plus was $165 for that low price of $28. So it looks like this almost like gel based this is turns into like this water cream as soon as you put it on your on your skin and a little dab will kind of do you it feels a little bit more balmy I don't know if they they talk about this being a water cream they might not this is what I would consider a water cream but it's a little bit more balmy so I think really great for the for the winter months doesn't really have a scent really just nice. I think you can't go wrong with a lot of the Tarte products. And this is one I think we've seen in subscription boxes quite a bit, but it's one I'm never sad to get because I think it's a really nice quality product. All right. So that was my Ipsy Glam Bag and Glam Bag Plus. Let me know what you customize in your bags and what you got. I always love hearing all the different customizations. I hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned and there'll be a new video tomorrow. Bye-bye guys.